This year marks the 33rd annual RFK Book Award and the 45th annual RFK Journalism Award. I'm Carrie Kennedy, and I want to welcome, you, welcome all of you here tonight. I am so sorry on behalf of John Siegenthaler, who um, is such a great and dear friend. Uh, he, he sends his regards, and he's so sad not to be here, as well as my mother, who's um, in Hyannisport and, uh, and really wishes she could be here as well. Um, in 1961, Robert Kennedy chose to give his very first speech as Attorney General of the United States to the American Society of Newspaper Publishers, and excuse me, newspaper editors. And he opened it by saying that it was fitting that his first speech should be to the press, to members of the press. Um, he talked about his years as counsel to the Senate Rackets Committee. And he said that 25% of his important leads came from newspapers. And that that tremendously increased his respect for the brave journalists who uncovered crimes. But he also pointed out that in three years of investigations, there were some large newspapers which never once asked the committee for information about what was going on in their cities, nor provided a single lead. I love that story about my father because he was always challenging people. And he wasn't just going to say nice things, you know. He was going to put it to them a little bit. Um, after that experience, he said, quote, no one needs to tell me about the importance of, of a free press in a democratic society or about the essential role a newspaper can play in a community, for better or for worse. And then Daddy laid out his priorities as Attorney General, breaking the organized crime ring, stopping price fixing and protecting free enterprise, extending voting rights in the South, and integrating schools once and for all. And he asked for their help, saying that both the Justice Department and the media had at their heart a dedication to stopping corruption and advancing justice. And I think that that's such an important lesson for us to keep in mind in our world today. He said, in a world where peace is our greatest endeavor and where we are fighting continuously for the goodwill of all mankind, I think that it is tremendously important that the American public gets an accurate picture of what is happening. And I don't know of any better way than newspapers digging into government, finding out what is going on, and reporting it accurately." Unquote. And that's precisely what the RFK Book and Journalism Awards are all about. Um, in 1968, during when my father was running for attorney general, the sort of the norm for journalists at that time were to was to challenge um, candidates about what they were going to do and how they were going to handle difficult issues. But instead, my father kept taking people to the Mississippi Delta or to Watts or or Bed-Stuy in New York, um, or to Red Cloud Indian Reservation, or to Pine Ridge, and saying, why aren't you covering this? And these are stories that you need to be covering. And these are people who are suffering in America. And what are we doing about it? And we're not doing enough. And um, so after he died, those journalists who covered his campaign decided to come together and create a journalism award which would recognize people who were covering issues of injustice in our country. And that's what brings us here 45 years later today. In 1980, we added the RFK Book Award to honor authors who show that same dedication to advancing Robert Kennedy's vision of, sh of taming, um, taming the savageness of man and make making gentle the life of the world. And in the years since, these fields have changed beyond anyone's wildest imaginations. But whether you work in newsprint or manuscript, in cartoon or video, or in the blogosphere, your work investigating, exposing, challenging, changing, inspiring is vital to upholding our country's greatest values. 
And now it is my honor to introduce someone who is chair of the RFK Journalism Committee and has helped to shine a spotlight on reporters who carry forward Robert Kennedy's ideals. As executive director of the Alicia Patterson Foundation, Margaret protects and empowers investigative journalists around the world through the oldest writing fellowship in history. She is a former reporter and an editor of the Washington Post, an alum of the Des Moines Register and the Lorraine Journal. And this year, we have her to thank, not just, not just for helping us to select our honorees, but also for envisioning and creating our center ceremony location itself. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you. <laughs> As <laughs> As former managing editor of the museum, Margaret was the mastermind behind the creation of this tribute to American journalism. I can't think of a better place to celebrate our honorees tonight. Please welcome longtime RFK Center friend, Margaret Engel. <laughs> 